What's up, y'all? It's Nelson here. We're gonna be covering the assisted chest dip. All right. If your assisted pull-in machine or assisted chest dip machine is like mine, these could go out in. For me, for someone my width, I want it to be slightly wider than shoulder width apart. So you notice right here, it's shoulder width apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it out one more. Grab those grips nice and tight. And then you're gonna position your knees about halfway on this pad or right there where those hands are, all right? That's gonna help you place most of the load directly underneath that lower pec versus if you were leaned all the way forward like that, all right? As I'm going down, you notice that my butt is kind of slightly back. Those knees are slightly in front, right? This way you can actually press those hands towards each other and take a note of that depth. I'm basically stopping to where my arm is about parallel to the ground. I don't want to go too deep because that's likely going to put some more tension on those shoulders. And if you have a shoulder injury or I risk a shoulder injury, it's going to aggravate a little bit more. So nice and slow on that way down. As you're going up, push down to those grips, push those palms towards each other. Boom. Just like this. Don't lean too far forward. If it looks like this, you are doing it wrong. That's going to put more tension on the shoulders and use more of the triceps versus with the knees forward. You could really push right there in line with the bottom of the pack. 